These are Highland cows. Yes. Yeah. Why this breed? We went with this breed mainly because they're a great heritage breed for our location. Mm -hmm. They're awesome with the cold weather. They're great grazers. They can make good use of brush and trees and things that some other cows will turn their nose up at and um, turn it into beautiful grass that we've been able to grow here. So they're not dairy cows. Yes, no. <laughs> exactly. But you could technically milk them. Yep. Yes, you could. Yep. And they do have a high butter fat content. Yeah, content in their milk. In their milk. It's just generally they're not known as a dairy breed. Yeah. Right. Sometimes they let us milk them to help out a calf or something like that. Their and temperament, yeah, their temperament is fantastic and their disposition is, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're a herd that even though they have horns and you know, kind of a hardy. Yeah, they look they look kind of scary, honestly. <laughs> right, <laughs> but they but they're not. You know, they they love interacting with us um, daily. It's, it's great to be able to walk up next to something that looks like that and pet it. And, and it's so big. And, and yeah. it's so big, and just kind of see that. Uh, you know, they're 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 happy that we're we're kind of there with them sometimes. So they're super social, obviously. How many do you have? Uh, we kind of run a herd right now around 40 head. We always gauge our herd size based off of what, you know, we're planning for our winter feed uh, to be. So sometimes if, um, you know, we have a drought and the hay doesn't come in like we thought it would, our, her our herd will probably be smaller going into the winter, you know, months. And then if we're blessed and we're really flushed with hay, maybe we'll, we'll get keep a few herd. more cows. Yeah, yeah. we will cows. get a few. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We have snow on the ground for a good portion of the year. So obviously in the good weather, the cows eat grass, mm -hmm. right? What do they eat the rest of the year? All they eat is hay, and we rotate them through our pastures, feeding bales in different spots to put the manure on the ground and help grow the grass for the following year. So we try to keep them eating what they would be naturally eating if they were in the wild and not feed them anything in addition, no grain, no corn. Yeah. Um, well, it's no less expensive. Exactly. Yeah, the idea feed. is to replicate like a grazing herd no matter what. So right. we like to always keep them moving, whether it's on snow or on a green growing pasture. Keep them moving. It's cleaner that way. Right. By doing that, uh, it doesn't put too much damage onto the soil. And so by, you know, kind of improving our soil quality, it makes it so that our grasses can grow thicker and stronger and better. I would guess also you have fewer rodents and probably fewer flies oh, yes. because you don't have grains and corns in that exactly. around. Yeah, so that's definitely. a big plus as well. Yeah, and the flies stay away from them because they're constantly, we're moving them away from their manure. So they're never right. just hanging out. A fresh pasture, yep. you know, mm -hmm. a fresh salad, if you will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I have a really important question to ask you. Yes. Do all your cows have names? Yes, all the cows do have names. Wow. I like to make sure they all have names so they're all an individual and not just a piece of meat out in the pasture. They have personalities and um, the a lot of them are registered with the American Highland Cattle Association. Okay. And with that, every year they have a certain letter that a lot of people will take and all the calves born that year have, say this year was letter M, they all have names that begin with M. Oh, that's cool. So that's what we've done for the past, I don't know, three years, four years. Yeah, it makes it easy, yeah. you know? Okay, and then we gonna... can know that, oh, all the M's, what year they were born, all the L's. Uh, the name is most certainly like the first part of their identity. And yeah. sometimes <laughs> we get a name soon after they hit the ground when they're being born, because they, they maybe they'll, they'll hop up and they'll dance a little bit. So yeah. we'll, you know, we'll name them something maybe. Michael you know, Jackson. Michael Jackson, <laughs> right. you know, you know, moonwalking or something like that. Yeah. So I love all the different colors. I guess that's probably the traditional color when you think of a Highland, mm -hmm. but the, some of the lighter ones are so pretty. So how does that happen? Uh, it, so the colors are all judged by a dilution gene, and uh, there's there are two main colors, black and red. And then if they have one dilution gene, if a red has one dilution gene, they end up yellow. If they have two dilution genes, they end up white, which is the, we'll see, the white color with the pink nose. Nice. Um, and the black base color, if they have a dilution gene, they are the dun, and kind of like that one walking over there. And then if they have two dilution genes, they end up white with a silver nose. Oh, wow. So yeah. there's a science behind it. Well, yeah. they're all really pretty, and I just love the color variation out in the pasture. Yeah. You look a little young to be walking with a cane, so I'm, I'm thinking there's another reason why you have this beautiful stick. Yeah, you know, 
although their disposition is fantastic, uh, you just never really want to put your full trust into, you know, a cow a big or, animal. Or, or a <laughs> yeah. And so this is uh, something that I try to use daily when we're out working with a herd. Uh, so you can use it to like protect yourself, mm -hmm. use it to get their attention by maybe a little tap on their, you know, on their back. Uh, the hook, I can grab uh, a horn and just kind of move an animal if I have to. It's just nice to have something that I feel like I can put between me mm -hmm. and, and, and the herd. I gotta say, uh, our farm probably um, has a lot to do with our awesome neighbors. We're very lucky to yes. live in Palmyra. It's a great town. Thank you guys so much. I had so much fun learning all about your Highland cows. Not so much luck getting milk for my ice cream, but better luck at the next farm.